what if you already have your money in a certain currency? Is it better to stick with it or cash out? I've got a great scenario for this situation because I currently have nearly everything tied up in Dash. Now, Dash has masternodes, which then actually make a payment to me for a hundred or so dollars every week at the current market value. I think if you have something that actually pays you out, like a masternode, or you've got a node, or you need the currency to get paid out, then I think it's ideal to hold on to that and keep receiving the payments. Even if, say, the Dash price plummets, I've still got my masternode payments coming, even if they're really small. And then if it goes up, my masternode payments get even bigger. If you're holding another currency, though, and it doesn't pay you out somehow, I believe it's best to diversify. That said, if you have a way to promote the currency specifically, it may be better to stay in that one currency and promote it. For example, if you're holding Ripple and you just love Ripple and you're sure Ripple's going to go and you're an active Ripple community member and you tell all your friends and family about Ripple and you make YouTube videos about Ripple, then maybe it's best to just hold that one currency. It might also be best to diversify somewhat, maybe sell half, a quarter, and put it into some of the others using the strategies I've shown. Now, for me, if I sell any of my master node, I don't get the benefits anymore. So I'm kind of stuck in the sense that I need to keep my master node to get keep getting the rewards. And that's what's good about Dash, I think, is it essentially tries to lock in a significant percentage of the whole market so that the people don't just trade it. And there's a huge portion of the Dash, more than half of all Dash is held in masternodes, which gives it stability. But there's new currencies coming out, and I encourage you to Google it, to cryptocurrencies with masternodes, because there's new ones getting added. Pivx has masternodes. I could have bought one for 7000 last week if I would have like taken a loan or something or asked my wife for money. But if I wanted to buy one now, it's 15000 Pivx has masternodes, which also pay out at a good rate. But the same thing. If you've got all of your currency invested in one, you're very vulnerable to something happen with that particular currency. If you're invested in a bunch of different currencies, you're not likely to get a really high upside. For example, if you absolutely love Zcash and you're crazy fan about Zcash and Zcash goes up to being as much as a Bitcoin, you might make 20 times what you have in Zcash. You might not make as much like 20 times. Like for example, if I'd had my crypt all of my money spread across the whole market at the beginning of 2017, I probably would not have made if I'd had 10,000 spread across the top currencies. I don't think I'd have made, I don't think I'd have gotten about a $60,000 increase in it, but I probably would have gotten a 30 or $40,000 increase in it. Now, while Bitcoin didn't go up that much, Ethereum went up a lot, Ripple, Litecoin went up significantly, Dash went up good, Monero went up. All these different currencies, if I had invested in each of them, I wouldn't have gained as much, but at the same time, I wouldn't be vulnerable to one particular currency collapsing. It's. I don't think there's any perfect recipe. I think each of us has a unique opportunity to look and say, okay, what's best for me? I went all in with Dash because I also have the ability to promote it. What I noticed in Tony Robbins' Money Master the Game book, one of the world's top investors, I forget their name, but if you read the or listen to the whole 14-hour audio book or 600-page written book, You'll see exactly what I mean in there. One of the investors said that if you can make your own opportunity, that's one of the best ways to do it. I already mentioned this before. It might have been the same guy who tweeted about Apple. It might not have. One investor on Wall Street grabbed a whole bunch of Apple stock, then sent out a tweet that said he thought it was undervalued. When everyone went in then, not everyone obviously, but a bunch of people all went and bought Apple stock right after he said that, guess what he did? The next time he balanced his portfolio, he sold a bunch of Apple stock and put it into his other stocks. That's an example of being able to make your own opportunities. If you're holding, say, Monero and you love Monero and you can make your own opportunity with it, then that might be the very best way. These online currencies, a lot of them, especially if you scroll down here, these are very small communities. You can make a huge difference in a small community. One person 
can make a gigantic difference. If the total market caps $30 million on, say, game credits, your investment in game credits, I just made one today for something like $12, my investment in game credits makes a lot bigger difference than it does in Bitcoin. My $12 is nearly irrelevant in Bitcoin. When I go down and look at some of these others though, my $12 starts to be a significant investment as the continue as you keep scrolling down and the market gets smaller and smaller, <laughs> you can see the $12 becomes significant in $2 million. It may not be something everyone gets excited about, but $12 in $19 billion is not even noticeable. That's a rounding error. If you put $1,000, you've got a significant part of one currency. It might be better to be a big fish in a small pond. If, or Ripple, I wouldn't say is a small pond, but it might be better if you really love one of these and you're, you're a raving fan. It might be better to be holding a significant percentage of the whole market instead of trying to just be one of the many voices in a bigger cryptocurrency. So thank you very much for watching this. I hope this look at rather diversification or balancing and just keeping everything in one currency, shifting it around is helpful. What I'm I'm holding all the my master node dash, but every reward I get from it is being sent to Bitfinex starting with the next month's worth of masternode rewards and I, I just used the bitcoin i had i was putting it on coinbase and now it's on here so i've got i'm putting my all the dash i get from my masternodes what i'm using to fund my bitfinex account now so i'm kind of doing a bit of both I'm holding my dash, but I'm using whatever dash I get out of the master node to then diversify into other currencies.